Hey, this is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Today we're looking at a Bluetooth speaker. This is the Gravistar Bluetooth speaker. This is the regular or the common one. And then there's Gravistar Mini, which is a smaller version. This is a 15 watt, a little bit larger, kind of that separate destroyed look. Yeah, that's what you got going on here. The 15 watt version, and there's also a 10 watt version that's a little bit smaller, but really the same look and the same characteristics. This little speaker is a Bluetooth enabled. It can go and do its stereo linking to the second one. So you link to one with your phone, then this one links to the second one. So you have that true stereo connection between the two, which is really cool. Also has this little battery port for charging and such on the bottom. It charges with a USB connection, but it's a USB, I'm gonna show you this, it's USB-C connection, so it's a little bit different than maybe what you're used to, but that's what they're using with this particular one. Uh, it has kind of a little green light thing going on, which you can go and you can turn that off if you don't wanna have the light on, but it's kind of a cool little light thing. Uh, sound quality and such, we're gonna give you a little demonstration of that, then I'm gonna come back after that and tell you what I like about it and some of the things that I'm not exactly overly excited about the Gravistar. Let's do a sound test. So that was a little bit of a sound test of the Gravistars. Now we were using both of them in that sound test so you could hear them, what they sound like when they were linked together. They sound, I think, just a little bit better when they're linked together. First off, let's talk about what I like about the Gravistar. First off, I love that Separatist Droid look. Full metal housing, very durable. It's going to be able to last a long time with that. I do like the green little, little look of that that gives it kind of that weird kind of glow when it's up on the bookshelf. And if you have two of them, they have that the partner glow. That's pretty cool. I like the volume on this. The volume on this is basically a little touch pad and you can go Right now they're linked so that the other one's the one that's controlling it, but it's just really simple up and down for changing volume on this, or you can change it with your device. I really like that. Folding up and such, fairly compact. That's pretty nice with, with the Gravistar. And they connect Bluetooth wise easily between the two. That was really kind of a simple process. Some can be really difficult. These basically click, click, and boom, you're right there. Now let's talk about a couple of things that I was a little bit disappointed. First off, the power button. It, it, they aren't using the international power symbol that we're used to when it comes to that. It's just a little square, which at, once you figure it out, there's no big deal, but they didn't use the right kind of little icon right there in the power button. Secondly is, I would love to have it so it could either change color or I could pick a color, you know, whether I maybe would change color and kind of go through a light show type of a thing where they would be synced together. That would be absolutely awesome. But the green is not bad. I mean, it gives it that kind of an alien look, but it would be nice if, you know, how, how difficult is it to have these things change color? That would be really sweet to be able to either select a color and go with that or to have them linked together and change color together. That would be absolutely cool. And the last thing that I'm a little bit disappointed in is the sound quality. They do sound good. They probably sound equivalent to a lot of the 50 to 60 to $70 Bluetooth speakers on the market, but they don't sound as good as some of the higher end Bose speakers or some of the higher end Bluetooth speakers that have just a little bit more fidelity. They seem to have, if you kind of envision the old EQ we used to use, they seem to get towards the mid and the upper and they kind of kind of roll off. They don't have that nice, you're not, you can hear the cymbals, but they're not clear in, in um, their, their reproduction of those frequencies and such. So it's a little disappointing. They just don't, they kind of have more of that 80s sound that uh, was just coming out from AM radio and we were just getting into FM and we didn't really have that high fidelity sound systems that were giving us the accurate playback. That's kind of what it reminds me of. That while they do sound good, don't get me wrong, they just don't sound as good. If you're an audiophile, you're gonna be disappointed unless you were looking for the separatist droid look. If you're not an audiophile, and you're you're probably going to find these sound absolutely fine and you're going to love them because you have that kind of Star Wars-y look going on here with the Gravistar. We'll put a link in the description below so you can go check out more information on the Gravistar, but these are a new Bluetooth speaker, the Gravistar and the Gravistar Mini. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News.